Hi, hello everyone. Um, my name is Fernando Omec. I'm the CEO and founder of CTEC. I'm extremely excited to be here today with you. Um, after one week of launching the platform, I, we thought it was the right moment just to share a little bit more about ourselves, about the company, about the mission of the company, what we want to achieve, what is the problem that we're trying to solve, how do we want to change the investment management industry, and how we can help you. And uh, we're going to be doing this, if we go to the to the agenda for today, we're going to try to keep it brief. This is going to be a 20, 25 minutes meeting where the idea is sharing our mission, talk a little bit about the challenges of the investment management industry, talking about what is our value proposition, how we are going to be helping you. And one last part to talk, we're going to do a small, a short product demo. We want you to see how easy it is to start using the platform and start investing on your own and taking and taking um and my, and taking uh, care of your future. So let's move on to the to the first step. What is the company mission? Uh, we want to empower investors with the tools, knowledge, and information they need to maximize the the long term after tax returns. So a little bit like, let me try to explain this in plain English. So what we really want, we think that there's a whole new generation that they have access to many different tools, the, many different investment platforms, but they not necessarily have the knowledge, expertise, time, um, information, and so on to make the right decisions. You have many people investing through many different platforms with a short ambition, trying to beat the market in the short term. What we want to do is to provide all the tools, all the knowledge, information they actually need to build a portfolio, having a long-term vision. Having a long-term vision on how to, how to save for the future, how to build real wealth for, for their families and secure their retirement. And that's where we are actually focused and, and, and with an end-to-end -end vision, right? We want to help them invest their money in a smart way, minimize their fees, and also try to minimize their taxes. That are two of the key variables that really affect the long term, the long term performance of your of your portfolios. So, with this in mind, let's you know share a little bit what is our vision of the investment management industry and what's happening. So today's money is in the people that are above fifty years old. Ninety percent of the money is in people that are over fifty years old. This is going to change in the next 10 years. The money is going to transfer it into a whole new generation. It's expected that $13 trillion will go to, the, to a generation that is below 50 years old. And these people are radically different. If you think about the baby boomers, are people that they make the decision based on trust, based on, on, on if they trust their financial advisor, if they trust the, the, the people are taking care of their money, right? While the whole new generation are living in a world with there that is huge transparency. So what they're looking more is they're looking for, for competitive pricing and they're comparing prices across multiple platforms. They like to customize their product. They don't want to have a product that is genetic. They want something that it really is built for them and it's covering their specific needs. They are hands-on investors. We see that in the US today, we have People, there are 130 million um, tra uh, trading platforms and um, uh, accounts, and people are investing through this, this through these accounts. So, so extremely hands-on investors. They want to be involved in the investment process. Uh, they want to be part of every decision making. And one last part, they're used to digital experiences. You no, know, in everything they do, people are used to use great platforms like HubSpot. They are used to using great platform across different different industries, right? And they expect exactly the same in the wealth management industry. That we believe is an industry that is, when we look at the industry, we think it's an industry that is lagging a little bit behind, right? And this is just because the the, the money is in the in the people that are above 50 years old, right? And would and would and the industry is built to serve that in that that segment of clients. So the disruption is about to happen in the in the next couple of years. But you look about like the value chain of the industry, you see that today's structure, you have an investor that is talking to an advisor in a wealth management house. Then this advisor is talking to a portfolio manager that is actually creating the portfolios for these clients that is interacting with, with different sales representatives or distributors of 
of mutual funds of asset managers uh, that they are sort of creating the products. Well, at the end of the day, they're buying the stocks from the brokers. So what is this is translated is into a really long value chain with a lot of people involved. And this ultimately is translated into a really high cost structure and really high fees that ultimately the investor needs to pay, right? So that's the first implication of having this huge value chain, right? The second is customization. By having such a complex ecosystem, it's really hard to build an experience that is customized to those investors. So what you see in the industry in average is really genetic wallets where investors cannot really choose and based on their vision, values, or specific needs, right? There's really standardized portfolios that they need to pick from. And one last part, like since the ecosystem needs to integrate multiple pieces, it's really hard for the industry to build customer, really digital customer experiences because they need to integrate multiple layers that they, they have different levels of maturity in terms of technology, right? So this is this is the problem that we see that is an industry that is not ready to serve uh, the next generation of investors, right? And that's where we want to play a role. How how we how we gonna be helping the industry be more efficient and and covering the needs of this next generation. The first the first part that how we're gonna be doing this is that we believe that people should have portfolios that they are investing directly into the into the hard assets. So instead of buying structured products, they can go and buy stocks, they can go and buy bonds, they can go and buy cryptocurrencies if they if they want. They go and buy the underlying stocks, right? What this means is that you're removing a whole many layers of the of the industry, and, and that's translated into really low fees, right? The second is that by investing in the, into the hard assets, they can customize to the core. They can decide whether. They want, to, they, they want to invest in only in companies that are ESG friendly because they, they, they have like a strong belief in, 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 in supporting ESG compliant companies or, um, or they can want to have a diversified portfolio, but they're, they are highly exposed to certain stocks. So they don't want to be having additional, additional exposure to those stocks and, and they can customize to the core. And the last part is that by having multiple positions, instead of having a portfolio with, you know, one, two, three, or four mutual funds, you're having a portfolio with 60, 70, 100 stocks, and on, or 20, 30, 30 bonds, or cryptocurrencies, or whatever, but you're having multiple positions. What that's generating is a huge, a huge dispersion in terms of, of performance, right? You will have uh, stocks that are performing really, really well, and, and stocks that are performing poorly, right? So at the end of the day, even if your portfolio is growing and it's uh, and you're having like a let's put an example that you're having a ten percent return this year, but you're always going to have like positions in your portfolio that are underperforming. So you can sell those positions, reinvest that money, and harvest those losses, right? And that's really going to depend on your personal on your personal situation. So that's why we want to provide the flexibility to the customer to define when they want to harvest those losses because depending on the year depending on your personal situation depending on if you actually need the money right now um it's it's uh, it's going to be a right moment for you to harvest or not right so that's a uh, that's uh, that's the last part when you look at the effect of these three things together like having a well diversified position with multiple stocks having a portfolio that has literally no fees because you're investing into the hard asset and having uh, and constantly harvesting the losses to minimize your tax bill the fact of in the long run is huge if you and you, in the, the graph that you're looking is putting an example that someone is investing one million dollars today and what you see uh one portfolio is paying a two percent fee annual fee and the other portfolio is paying no fee and is generating a one percent tax alpha on top well, you see the effect over 20 years is that one and the, the performance of the of the optimized portfolio is uh, is doubling the, is doubling the performance. We're talking about having 4.5 million more after 20 years. So the effect is huge. So it's really worth it to actually invest the time to create your portfolio to manage your money um, versus versus uh, ha having a standardized product where you have little control of what's going on, right? 
So how how the how are we doing this? And I'm gonna try to keep it brief here, and we will go directly to the demo because it's where you're really gonna get the sense of how how everything how the platform is working. But basically, we're building a platform that is integrating multiple solutions that today you have in 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 separate tools. Like you you have a, is there a screener existing? Yes. Is there certain places where you can optimize your portfolio? Yes. I don't think with the approach we are using, but yes. The, are you having portfolio analytics? Yes. Are you having a trader? Yes. But what we are trying to do is to put a coherent um, workflow and putting all these tools together so you can actually uh, manage your portfolio end-to-end -end with all the tools and information you need. So let me explain how it actually works. First, you will can, you can define, let's, starting from the left-hand side, you have a screener where you can define the universe of stocks, for instance, that you want to be investing. You can screen out sectors. You can screen out based on the smart beta factors. You can screen out specific stocks and build your universe of stocks, right? So let's say that you start with the S&P 500. You can screen out and say, okay, I'm going to be investing in 400, 400 companies. That These are the 400 companies I feel comfortable investing in. And then you can optimize that. So, And this is where the artificial intelligence comes in where uh, what artificial intelligence is going to help you is to have a well-diversified portfolio. And there's different ways to have a diversified position, right? One is having a direct indexing solution. What this means is that you're going to be replicating the performance of an index. So if we put the sample of the S&P 500, the S&P 500 is composed of the 500 largest companies in, in the US, no? trading in the US, which represents 70% of of the um, of the of the actual size of the of the market trading today in the US. So what it means is that be, by being invested in the S&P 500, you are indexed to the economy. So you know that the economy needs to grow for us to survive, right? So so that's a fact. So if you're looking at the long term, you're always going to be uh, in 20 years most certainly you're going to the, the S&P 500 is going to be is going to be positive, right? So by indexing your portfolio to that you're just going with economy. That's one way to diversify. But we are not saying that that's the only one, right? So that's why we add in other optimizations like mean volatility, where you can you know, have an exposure to the market, but you are not totally confident what's going to be going on. So you want to reduce a little bit the volatility. So if the market goes down, you're going to smooth that, uh, that, that downturn, right? Or you can use a risk parity where within your universe, you're going to be allocating the same level of risk to each of the individual stocks. Or, or you want to have like more of an, um, um, a max diversification factor or different other optimizations that we're going to put in the, in the platform. Depending on the asset that we're talking about here, we're talking about, um, uh, about stocks, right? But we're expanding to offer also uh, optimizations in crypto and optimizations in, uh, in bonds. Um, the next step is actually having a really detailed analytics. So what this is going to help you is that you're really going to understand your position. So you're going to have all the information you need to decide whether this is the right portfolio for you, right? You're going to understand what is the split of sectors, what is your dividend yield, what is your what is your portfolio PE ratio, what is uh, what is your value at risk. You're going to have a back test where you can actually see what would have happened with that portfolio if you have created three months, one month, six months, one year, two years from now, and before before today, what would have been the, the performance of that portfolio? And that's going to give you a lot of information of the volatility of your portfolio and of the of the trend versus the index of your portfolio, right? And one last part, we want to make everything really simple. We understand that people don't really have a lot of time, right? So that's why we integrate in the solution with a, with your broker. Uh, with uh, we starting with with Alpaca, that is a really really strong partner of us. Uh, but we're going to be expanding to to serve um, other brokers like Interactive Brokers, TD Bank, uh, um, Robinhood, and, and many other brokers, right? Um, and what we're doing is that with just one click, you can go and buy 60, 70 stocks. You see a lot of people that they end up starting, when they start investing, they do a stock picking and they have a portfolio of five stocks. You're extremely exposed um, uh, to, to extremely exposed by only having five stocks, right? It really makes more sense for an investor to be investing in 60, 70, 80, 100 stocks and having a well-diversified position to the market. So why people are not doing this is just because it's a hassle to do it, right? You need a lot of time to 
go stock by stock, uh, putting them in, um, uh, sending the order, waiting for the order to confirm and so on. So what we're doing is we are integrated to the broker uh, through APIs and we're sending 60, all these, uh, all, these, all these orders all by all at once, right? So for you, just click in one click and you will be, in, you will be investing in, into 60, 70 stocks. Okay, so this was a, a little bit of introduction. We wanted to share a little bit of what we're doing at uh, at CTEC, what was uh, what was our mission, what we're trying to achieve, um, and now I think is the is the right moment after sharing a little bit about our product to to go and actually use it, you no, know, and and show you how how to extract as much value as possible. Today we're going to do a short version inversion. Um, at the end of the session, we will have a Q and A. So if anyone wants to to share their questions, we will we will try to answer them. Okay, so let me go. The first thing that that you need to do to to onboard on 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 C Tech is to go to our uh, our web portal. You will go to C Tech Solutions. We uh, we are here in our beautiful web portal. Now you need to click on start a month, one month free trial. This way is gonna bring you to the sign in or sign up. For me, it's gonna be a sign in because I already have an account. But for you, it'll be you will just need to share your email and set up a password. And you off to go and you will be in the platform. So voila, we are inside C Tech. Right now, you have if you, if you look at the platform, everything has to be managed through the left bar. The left bar is what is allowing us to go to the different functionality of the platform. Here we have our homepage where everything, you will have a 360 view of what's going on with your portfolio. You have a portfolio builder who is going to help you, is going to assist you in the, in the process of building that portfolio. You have a, a screener of US equities, we're gonna be, as I was saying, we're gonna be expanding to, to bonds, to mutual funds and, and to crypto. And then you have the trader where you actually go and you can go on and, and buy stocks one by one or buy stocks in, in batches. So you can you know, put multiple stocks, do one click and buy multiple stocks at once. All these different different parts of the, of the platform do interact with each other. So you will see that, that you know, they're not standalone functionalities. They sort of interact with each other. So let's go to the homepage and get us started. The first thing that you need to do is to link uh, link to your broker. Um, in, in our case, it's going to be Alpaca. If you already have a, an account in Alpaca, you just need to click allow. If not, you will have to go to the process of creating a, an account in Alpaca. We're going to start with a paper trading account. Where here you can see you can see my portfolio that I have ninety thousand dollars in equity, uh, and today I'm up a zero point three one percent. Right here at the bottom, I have a summary of what is my buying power and what is my investments. Right here, I have created a portfolio of U.S. equities. So here you have uh, all the details of my portfolio. Well, you can see how it's performing today. And what are the overall gains and losses on my portfolio? So actually, right now, I'm losing on this portfolio $1,000. I can do two things with my portfolio. I can decide to analyze it, or I can decide to rebalance. Here at the bottom, you have my ideas. What this means is that I can create portfolios um, at a certain moment, and I can decide to do two things. Either I invest in them, and I invest in that idea and that portfolio that I have created, or I can save it. I can save an idea that you know a friend has shared with us or or a mutual fund that we like, the positions of a mutual fund that we like, you can save them here. And at a certain moment, you can go and analyze that portfolio again and invest in that portfolio if you want. So let's start by creating a, a new portfolio. Well, you go to the portfolio builder and here you have two options. You can create a new portfolio um it's starting with just a cash position or you can create you can analyze a portfolio that is already existing let's go on create a new portfolio and here you will need to follow a three-step approach first you will define 
what is the level of investment. Second, you're going to define the optimization criteria. And lastly, you're going to have a whole summary of that portfolio. And if you like it, you're going to have the ability to actually go and invest in it. So for the purpose of this exercise, let's say we're going to be investing $30,000. And here, what is really interesting is that we put in a curve where you can see what is the uh, expected value of this portfolio in 20, 10, or five years. And you see the difference of what it would be the performance of this portfolio with fees, with tax, uh, and without tax savings, or without fees and with tax savings. So what you see is that the impact is that you're basically doubling your returns, your long-term returns by managing your money in this way. So with this in mind, let's move to the next step where we got to define our optimization criteria. The first step is to select your benchmark. What this means is that we're going to be selecting the universe of stocks that we're going to be investing in. You have the S&P 500. Here on all these benchmarks, you have a description. So you can click the eye icon and you will have a whole description of what the S&P 500 means, of what the Russell 1000 means, and so on. Um, and then you will do a, you can select an objective. So my objective could be uh, direct indexing where, you know, with 30 stocks, I'm going to be trying to replicate the index. Or I could say, you know what, I want to do that with 60 stocks, 70 stocks, whatever you define here, you have the flexibility to do it. Since we are investing only $30,000, that's why, why it's recommending us to keep it to, to 30 stocks, right? In addition to this, you can customize the universe, the universe of stocks, as I was explaining before. No, so you can go to customize. Now the model is looking at 500 stocks, which on average they have a market cap of seventy thousand dollars, seven seventy four billion dollars. The price per earning is twenty one, and the dividend yield is two point three one three. What, the, what can you screen? You can screen in based on sectors. Imagine that you know you are a real estate developer and you're saying, you know what? I want to be investing in the S&P 500, but I don't want to have exposure to uh, to real estate because I'm already in that, in that market. Or, or you say you, industrials. I don't believe that you know in, um, in, in the current situation, they, they're going to perform well. Oh. Wait a second. I lost the screen. Uh, one second, something happened to my to my Google Chrome. I need to buy to to open it again. Sorry about that. It's only gonna take a a few a few seconds. Da, da, da. Sorry, David, can can you see my screen? No, nope, I can't. Okay, one second. Here we go. Yeah, no. Okay, we are back in the platform. Sorry about that. Let's let's it's gonna be a good moment to actually recap what we were doing. So we are we're creating a new portfolio. We had defined that we wanted to invest thirty thousand dollars. We were defining the criteria. And within the criteria, we uh, we were selecting the S&P 500 and we were starting to customize it. So the first thing that we did is we screen out real estate and we screen out industrials. And now we were going to start to look at the smart beta factors. So here you have, you can screen stocks based on whether they are value versus growth stocks. Again, here, if you click the eye icon, you have a description of what it is. You, have, you can screen based on size. You can screen based on the dividend yield. Let's put the example that you want to have a portfolio that has a really high dividend yield. So we will go to 70%. And you can see that the dividend yield is going all the way up to 4%. And your universe is now 64 stocks, right? So basically, you're going for the 64 stocks with a higher dividend yield in the, in the index, right? That's basically what we're doing. For, the, for this first... Portfolio, we're just going to keep it really simple. So we're going to be looking at 400 stocks, uh, screening out industrials and, and real estate. 
and and we're going to be doing a direct indexing and we're going to be putting let's say 60 stocks and now you will clean run and now what it's doing is basically it's generating 5,000 in Monte Carlo scenarios and it's trying to optimize on all those scenarios. So basically, in this case, it's trying to minimize the tracking error uh, in all those scenarios. So how? So you will see that this portfolio is basically trying to replicate the, the performance of the S&P, S&P 500. So this is the portfolio that the model has just created. It has six, 60 stocks. Uh, and we invest in the the, the thirty thousand dollars, right? And what I was telling you before, if you go to the left and to the right hand side, you on the, here on the on the top bar, you have an overview of this portfolio. You have a risk assessment of the portfolio, and you have a back test where you can see what would have been the perf- the performance of this portfolio. Let's quickly go through those uh, those different analytics. So on the overview, you basically have a, a some metrics where you have like the average market cap of your portfolio, the average and the, the price per earnings, the dividend yield. You have a sector distribution where you can see how you're comparing your weights compared to the index. You have an analysis of what would have been the, the performance in three months, six months, KGAR, price per earnings, price per book value, dividend yield, volatility, beta of uh, tracking difference, R square. So all the key metrics of uh, that you will find in a mutual fund, you have that, but of your own fund, right? That's sort of the experience that we're trying to create here. Here we have the segment matrix. Yeah, you will be familiar to, to this way of showing the, the information. Uh, in Morningstar, you, you have the segment matrix where you can see that basically we are investing in large cap companies and uh, we are waiting more on growth companies because that's basically the the how the S&P 500 is built, right? And here at the bottom, and this is really important, you're going to see what is the tracking error. Our tracking error is 1%. What this means is that, um, that on a 70% probability, we're going to be, our performance is going to be between one plus one or minus one of the performance of the index. And you can see the distribution of that here. So you see that we have a 5% probability of, of having exactly the same return as the index. And then you will see like the whole distribution here. And then you have a risk analysis when you can see what is your value at risk at different confidence levels. So you can go, okay, the, what is the value at risk at... 96% probability, it's going to be a 22%. Here you have a risk versus return analysis. You have a concentration analysis where I can go and say that with 31 stocks, I have 75% of the of the weight of the portfolio. And then I have my back test, right? Where I can see that basically you're looking at those two signals that they go one-to-one and you have the performance of the index and the performance of the portfolio. And you see that they go one-to-one. That's because that's the whole objective, right? We're trying to we're trying to replicate the performance of the index. In this case, you could decide, okay, what do I want to do? I want to save this portfolio and invest later. I want to download it, and yeah, it will go into an Excel file. Or you can go and execute these trades. So let's go back to criteria. So you see a different kind of optimization. Let's say that now we're gonna try to do a mean volatility. So basically now the objective is going to be trying to minimize the volatility of, of, of the portfolio, no? Looking at the whole universe of the 500, 400 stocks that we have defined, right? So here you would see that, okay, it's a portfolio with 33 stocks. Um, while we look at the volatility of this portfolio is 15% versus the benchmark, that is 90%. So yes, we're getting way less volatility this should be reflected in the in the back test that as you can see our portfolio is way more stable than the market you can see that the benchmark has gone up then it has gone down then it's going back again back uh, and then it's going down again and you see that the portfolio is is uh, is uh, 1.5% over the over the index um but and it's it's following a more consistent path right so if you like this portfolio you can go and execute the trades 
So let's do one last one last portfolio where we are actually really customizing the universe, right? Let's say that in this case, you want to be invested in the in the Rasta 1000. Uh, and then you're going to, uh, you only want healthcare companies and financials, financial institutions and, and energy. Let's say that you only want those two, those, those three sectors. So you would have 296 stocks. And now you're going to apply certain, certain smart beta factors. So you're going to say, I want more value stocks with high dividend yield and with quality that is basically are going to be well-funded companies. And with that, we get into a universe of 188. Let's screen a little bit something based on liquidity. I want only companies that have a high liquidity factor and I want a little bit of low volatility, let's say. So with that, we get into a universe of 137 stocks. And now I can apply a risk parity. So now the model, what it's going to be doing, oh, I can only do, the system is telling me that I can, to do a risk parity, I got to do one less than 120 stocks. So we're going to apply another screening factor. In this case, let's do a little bit of more value. We get into a portfolio of, Okay, 78 stocks. That sounds about right. Uh, and you see that the price per earning is going down. That's because we are putting more of a value stock. And now we're running the optimization. Now it's working. And it's going to be basically what it's doing is it's going to be allocating more capital to the stocks that are less volatile. And it's going to allocate more, uh, more capital to the... Uh, to the stocks that are less volatile, sorry, and less capital to the stocks that are more volatile. Uh, so these are the stocks that we are creating with uh, through this system. We can go to the overview where we'll see that effectively we are investing mainly in financial sector, a little bit in healthcare, a little bit in, in, an, in the energy sector based on the screening factors that, that we applied. And uh, we can, again, look at the back test and see how this portfolio would have perform a little bit, it would be have a, a little bit uh, worse performance than the index, 2.6 PM below. But I could say, you know, I believe this is really going to perform well in the future. And I believe it's a, it's a sound uh, portfolio with a 0.95 um, beta and a really high dividend yield. That is basically what I'm looking right now to, to invest in. So you will go, click on execute your trades. Um now what it's doing is basically converting that amount of money to actual um to actual stocks. So you can see here that I the theoretical investment is one one hundred one thousand one thousand five hundred um dollars, which means that with 126 at 12 um dollars uh, price we will be close to that right so the delta is just two two dollars so basically we're just transforming that portfolio theoretical portfolio to a real portfolio now if you're confident with this and this is uh, you wanted to invest in this um, in these stocks you can go and execute the trades now what we're doing is that we are connected to to your broker and you'll be will be sending the orders takes about a couple seconds to to go and execute all those orders we just sent the 35 the 35 trades and and here you go all this will be now now invested and we will have them here here somewhere at the bottom you can see that we started with thirty six thousand dollars to invest now we have of buying power now we have six thousand dollars because we have invested all that money um Okay, so so I think uh, this is this is for today. Um, this is what we wanted to show you. I think we can move on to to the Q and A. Um, guys, please uh, let me know if there there are any if people are sharing any any specific questions. I'll be I'll be more than happy to answer them. Yeah, sure. Uh, Michael is has a really good question, which is instead of investing in the stocks automatically chosen by the platform, when you create a portfolio, 
Is there a way to individually select which stocks you want to invest in, create a list of the selected stocks and execute all the trades at once? That's uh, that's actually a really good point. So um, let me show you because we can certainly do that. Uh, you will need to go to the portfolio builder. And I don't know if you remember, but here we said that there was the possibility of investing a portfolio with cash and going through all the optimization. But you can basically upload a portfolio that you like and go and analyze that portfolio and execute the trades. So you would go here and you can... Type in the, you can do this manually. So basically you can just go and type uh, Tesla. I'm going to be investing $1,000, zero capital gains. I want to invest in Apple. And I want to be investing, you know, $10,000. Um, okay. And then, I don't know, let's say we're going to be investing in Ford, $10,000. And um, I don't know, Amazon, uh, another $10,000, zero capital gains. You can go and analyze this portfolio and you can add how, you know, whatever number of stocks you want to do. And now it's doing an analysis. So you get exactly the same information we were getting, we were getting before, but of the portfolio you just created. So you have a segment matrix of this portfolio. You have your tracking error that is huge. It's 21% just because, you know, this is not an indexed, clearly it's not an indexed strategy. We can see that this uh, that this portfolio is way more volatile. Actually, we have a small tracking difference, but you see that at a certain point, that portfolio was down, down uh, in the last six months by 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 um 25 percent versus the index that was down by 14 percent in in the in the worst moment right um uh, so here if you want to invest in this portfolio you can go and invest in the portfolio if uh if you want to you can always go backwards and say okay no i don't want to do it in this way what i want to do and this is a hassle to actually do it manually here, if you see at the left, you can download a, download a template and just fill the template with the tickers and the investment and, and, and upload it here. And automatically, you will be uploading all that Excel and all those positions. You can go and analyze that portfolio and you can go and invest in that portfolio if you actually like it. Um, so let's, let's do one example. So... Uh, for instance, right? I'm uploading this portfolio. Uh, I can go and analyze the analyze the portfolio. This is a large portfolio. The larger the portfolio, the longer it takes to do the analysis. So it's a portfolio with 61 stocks. I can go to the back test. I see that you know it sort of goes in line with the with the market. So I'm I'm sure that it will has a smaller tracking error than the portfolio I created before. Effectively, I have a tracking error of 13, still still pretty high. So I still have a, an alpha strategy. And I kind of decide, you know what? I want to save this portfolio because I don't want to be investing in it right now. So this is Fernando portfolio. Um, and I can save it. This will take me back to the homepage. And at the bottom of the page, I can go and see on my ideas, the portfolio that I have just created is saved here. If at a certain moment you wanna go and invest, you will click analyze, it will analyze your portfolio. And from there, you can go and invest in the portfolio. Okay, I took a little bit longer than expected to answer that question, but really good question. Thank you. Any, any other question? Yes, Fernando, we have a university teacher asking if they could use this tool in class, if you have the option of only live trade or is paper trade a good fit for university classes? Really good question, actually, because we are we are um, we are collaborating with many, many different schools, uh, both in Europe and in, in the US. The product is getting great traction, actually, for educational purpose. Because you know it's uh, it's really easy to to teach really relevant concepts on portfolio construction and on on risk management, and and it's a it's a perfect solution for that, right? So so we are extremely happy to to help financial institutions. It's also 
uh, sorry, educational institutions. Uh, that's uh, really aligned with our our mission, as we were saying. Like we wanna we wanna help the next generation to learn how to invest, and that's part of our mission. So. So definitely it's a great tool. The paper trading, it really creates a great experience in class for them, for them to use it. Thank you very much. I'll let them know. All right. Great. Um, so I think with that, we've covered uh, everything for today. Uh, it was a pleasure having you, having you in this session. And we're looking forward to sharing new functionality. There's a lot of things coming on. Um, please uh, share share this with uh, with your friends. I think it's a, it's a great platform that can help them uh, build sound portfolios and really start saving saving money in a smart way. So we will really appreciate if you can you know spread the word that we are out there. We are uh, in the world to help the next generation of investors. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much to be there for for your time today.